Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to Blank City. Found this game on the Q app, and apparently it might be on Google Play. I'm not sure. I haven't really seen it on there. At least I think so. But yeah, I found this game on the Q app. Apparently it's in English and Japanese in a couple of different other like languages. I think Chinese too. I think. But yeah, we're going to be trying it out. From what people tell me, it's kind of like Hunkai Impact, but kind of slower I think I don't know without further ado let's just get in let's just make a guess account blank city got a character just chilling on the train pretty interesting uh opening menu oh yeah we already put it in our name Usually they force me to go through a tutorial before I actually put it in my name. <laughs> Usually. It seems like it starts off with everything in English first. I like the little symbols that pop up down here. I don't know why. They just look pretty interesting and unique. There's a rose. There's like a bird thing I like that one I think I like that one the most I was just making chit chat before this popped up <laughs> oh monsters just spawned in and started murdering everybody seems like the apocalyptic type of story I see like different factions started to pop up. Oh, I like her design. I might go with the octopus. Mostly because I like the just the whole sea hat type of thing. But we'll see. Depends on the character I start with, I guess. I'm probably gonna have to set up buttons too, just to make this a lot easier. If you need more slots, it's span. And let me guess, that's gonna cost like actual currency and not gold. <laughs> I mean, typically it starts out with gold, then it starts working its way into your pay currency. Now, uh, before it starts working its way into um, keyboard controls, I'm going to just put a keyboard controller over to the side, maybe. Uh, let's see. Movement pad. There we go. Just in case it does that. Got demons. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of right. Oh no, it's the whole movement pad type of situation. God damn it, why do we do that? Why do we have that out of everything? Why do people think that's the best thing to actually have? Wait, does this work now? Okay, yeah, it does. Actually, that's a lot better. I think I'm just going to use my controller. My controller is actually a, a huge amount better. So let's go ahead and put this as the X button. So I have a skill up here too. Oh, so that's like my special. Yeah. 
I should just start using controller for these type of like games. Noted. <laughs> I re always hate the whole movement. But you guys can actually see my pads and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a bit... This controller is a bit bugged. Alright, let's take off the hints and stuff so you guys don't see that. There we go. Hey, you guys don't have to deal with looking at that on the screen. My bad. Kind of a bad start off, but I always got to get my controls right before we actually go further into the game and start exploring. It's always a key rule of mine. You guys be fine. I mean, I'm still showing you guys the gameplay and everything. Be fine. Alright, let's keep going. Luckily, we have all of our controls figured out. So we got Watchers. So Watchers are different characters. So they're just going to go by Watcher name. <laughs> oh, so she, is she a gunner? Okay, so these are boosters. Alright, back to exploring the area. I actually might change those controls a little bit, to be honest. So this is how they're going to be doing their story. With just the normal animations. Well, 3D models. Just looking at each other. Okay, noted. Okay, we got another skill. God damn it, now I gotta make another... Another control. Great. Now I have more buttons to put. Damn it, game. <laughs> Just give me all my buttons, like, straight up. So there's a button right here. Noted. That's gonna be my B button. There's going to be a button right here. Oh my god, there's so many buttons! Okay, so that's my swap out button. I know what I want as my swap out button. By the way, I am using emulator. That's why this is so much harder to actually just play straight up okay not that bad of a game, to be honest, so far. Pretty decent. Just me setting up my whole controls and everything. But I think we should be good, unless they give us something else, which I hope they don't. Alright, so they got a tutorial guide for us after that. Noted. I also got have event rewards. They're probably just telling us what new things are going on. I don't know, we got rewards. Alright, so time played rewards. Special time rewards, uh, timed missions. And exchange rewards. These are uh, mission quests. So she's been leveled. 
That mission is now done. Finish scenario one. So it is also a shark collector from what I see. There's also a shop, a summon shop too. Do I even have tickets? Yeah, I don't. We have gears over here. You can also use go to summon too. If I had summoned him once, that's just all my gold, basically. So you need tickets for, like, summoning. I want her. Feels bad, dude. The brawlers look so much more interesting. I want them. So I'm guessing these are just, like, different designs of the characters. Oh, no. They're not. They're actual different characters, but they just do the same thing. Noted. Alright, let's play it a little bit more. So Elemental does play into the game. Noted. Exterminate 19 enemies. And did you want me to swap out? Oh, so that's been my dodge button this whole time. God damn it. I see. I thought I had messed up some of my controls or something. And that shield you keep getting, Mr. Little Hound over here. Can you stop? <laughs> I don't know, I think I like the gunner a lot more. Not gonna lie, you definitely feel in the gunner more than anything. Personally, I kind of like this game more than I enjoyed it, Hunkai Impact, but that's kind of me though. But, not a huge fan of both of them, just because, eh. I want to say it's not my type of game. At least that's what I want to say. Alright, so you can level them up by that, just by having those little discs. Is it going to count that? Okay, no. You have to do it as soon as you get the quest. You can't just like do it ahead of time. So that's pretty much noted. Then you have to do two scenarios afterwards. Then at the end of this, you would get the brawler character. Noted. You would get the brawler character at scenario 10. Alright, we're going to do two more. And then we're just going to get off there. Because that basically shows you guys most of the combat and how the game's going to play. Protect the stone. So they do have little, little missions like that. Noted. doing. 
I had to check and see if there was any monsters on the crystals. Man, what is your range on bullets? <laughs> it is kind of difficult to keep up with like all these enemies, especially the freaking long range ones that are like even more annoying than anything. There we go. Jesus Christ. Go this way. Get rid of them. Jeez. I think I'm going to hate missions like that more than anything. To be honest, this game can benefit from like co-op, to be honest. I can actually see this. If they kind of have like an actual online co-op type of deal, I can see it actually doing way better than Hunkai Impact though. If they had a feature like that. Like just co-oping missions with your friends. Alright, so they're just telling me about packets and all that. Oh, they have account level packs. But this is all about goad. Heh. Don't really care for it. So this hearts are our stamina. Noted. So we have a crafting system over here. We get those at certain areas. So challenges. I'm guessing are. Daily dungeons maybe. Rankings. I'm guessing that's like PvP maybe. Maybe. We're just going to guess there. Uh, there are guilds, there are inboxes too. I don't have any rewards, feels bad. Uh, you do have a bag where you can see all the characters you have. Well, probably not all the characters you have, probably just like little items, actually. Uh, you can actually see chat. Doesn't seem like the channel one is very active. Oh, okay, so that just makes it to like the little window. You also got a helper. You also have settings to where you can put it like way higher. All right, let's let's see how that looks. Actually, looks a lot better to be honest. Let's do one more and see how that looks inside a game. I think if I was to play that game, she would probably be my favorite character. I'd probably use her for like everything. Oh, we got a train scene. Alright, so different camera angles. So I got a counter attack too. Oh god, they got guys with baseball bats. Oh, was that it? That was quick. That was like extremely quick. Ah, oh, so now we got skill menu. Alright, let's go look at them skills. Ah, okay, so it's like, uh, 
Damn, it's like several other like shark collecting games where you can level up your own skills. But I don't think you can like level up past the character's like actual account, right? Yep. Well, not the actual account, your actual like character level. We do do use our normal attacks a lot. Seems like there were some rewards there. Oh, mission. Scenario 5. And I also did a mission over here. Which I didn't realize. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Good thing we got that gold. Alright, last one. Then we're just going to end it off there. Because that last one was so damn quick. Yep, I know. To be honest, I just don't care for it. <laughs> Barrier disabled. Somehow I still get hit off that. Which is like the weirdest thing ever. That even if I dodge out of it, I still get hit. No. Dude, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright guys, that's pretty much it. So far, how I feel about the game. It's actually pretty cool. If I had a choice over this or Hunkai Impact, I kinda like these characters a little bit more. But both of them are actually pretty decent, so I would say try either one. Or just play both of them. Hunkai Impact is actually pretty good for the people who actually enjoy those type of games. For me, eh, I could go either way, personally. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. to lose.